Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on QNT. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about QNT. It's a relatively quick video. I want to bring you up to, to date on the latest news. And I'm going to start with this. Everything Crypto put together a great thread on QNT. I'm going to share it with all of you. HSBC, the largest European bank, will be tapping into Oracle Cloud technology to accelerate their digital transformation. Read more to find out how this impacts QNT and why I believe this altcoin will hit 10k. I think it's going to surpass $10,000. So Oracle and HSBC, one of the world's largest financial services organizations today, announced the strategic collaboration to accelerate the bank's digital transformation. Under the multi-year agreement, HSBC will upgrade and migrate select database systems to Oracle Exadata Cloud Customer, a cloud platform delivered as a managed infrastructure service in HSBC's own data centers. The development or deployment will help support and scale the bank's mission-critical systems and services. This is going to be huge. Catherine Zhao, the head of HSBC Digital Innovation, has discussed how bullish the bank is on blockchain tokenization and cbdc's they will be tapping into oracle clouds infrastructure to help them with this digital transformation oracle must tap into dlt to make digital wallets and tokenization a reality for their banking partners quant network overledger is the answer in the future every single thing is going to be tokenized you're going to be tokenizing things that you own of value in the future Governments are going to be tokenizing trees and water and land. And, you know, if your crypto isn't tied into that, you're missing out on one of the greatest opportunities that are out there today. We're starting to see all these ISO coins get involved in that. HBAR, XRP, XLM, all starting to get amp up around tokenization. Oracle has partnered up with QNT in a highly collaborative manner to roll out solutions on the Oracle blockchain platform with a key focus on finance. According to Oracle's post, Quant provides an immediately available solution certified in Oracle Cloud infrastructure, an immediate available solution, like on demand. This way, there's no time wasted. They could implement this right now. To top things off, Quant CEO Gilbert Verdian worked at HSBC in security projects and programs according to his LinkedIn profile. Now we have both an indirect link between Quant and HSBC through Oracle and a direct link between Quant CEO and HSBC. This is going to be big. This is just one of the many puzzle pieces that leads me to believe Quant or QNT DLT will play a major role in the future of financial technology. There is a direct link between the use of the quant overledger and the demand for the QNT token. QNT to 10K supply shock incoming. This is probably one of the, the most bullish things that I could talk about around QNT because this has me so amped up around this crypto because you need QNT for everything. You know, I'm very bullish around XRP as well. You see me do a lot of videos on it. The one difference between QNT and XRP that I noticed is Ripple is out there partnering up with the banks. They're utilizing RippleNet, but not utilizing XRP right away. They will later. With QNT, anybody who wants to use the network must hold the token. So enterprise license, QNT tokens must be provided to Quant Network in exchange for an annual license. Developer license. Developers will be able to obtain an annual license to develop applications on Overledger through the purchase of QNT tokens, equivalent to a fixed fiat amount. Platform fees. In addition to the license fee of platform fee calculated as a percentage of the license fee in QNT will be payable by all users and developers. Identity and account. A minimum QNT holding you must have in place for every participant of the Overledger ecosystem. 
Transaction processing QNT tokens are used to validate, sign, and encrypt every transaction that flows through Overledger. Application users. Users will need to hold QNT tokens to be able to run multi chain applications, maps, gateway, and staking. To run a gateway, there is an annual fee fixed in fiat to be paid in QNT tokens. And, and that's what gets me so bullish. You have to have the token. And there's not many QNT out there. That's why that supply shock is going to happen at some point. Wonder why QNT lost its momentum. This is just another buy the dip moment. Honestly, at the price where QNT is right now, that's not going to be there forever. Eventually, it's going to disappear, and people that didn't buy QNT are going to regret it forever. QNT just added a new tokenization page to their website. So you see, simplified tokenization. This is the power of Overledger token flow, letting you create institutional grade tokens that will interact on the chain of your choice now and in the future, in minutes without coding. When something is so simple, everybody will want to utilize it. That's why QNT will be massive in the future. New Quant video. Quant is the infrastructure for CBDC. Take a listen. Great to be here. Um, we're a London fintech, and this is the epicenter of financial services. Um, and what we really love about this conference is you have regulators, institutions, fintechs, and the public all in the one place, bringing together the epicenter of financial services again. And what topic or theme was especially important for you guys today? We're here because we're innovators in blockchain and interoperability, but more importantly, CBDCs. So we've been working with central banks to really innovate and bring together uh, technology as, as a CBDC and what it means for a payment system or a financial system across the world. And how does Quant relate to central bank digital currencies exactly? Um, we're the platform and the infrastructure that central banks and commercial banks can use to implement, pilot and test CBDCs um, and tokenized assets uh, in an interoperable way. So they're going to go big on CBDCs as well. QNT is going to be tied into every aspect of that new financial system. That's why it's so important to get in while you still can. So in, in any case on any chain, robust security doesn't mean you are limited. Quite the opposite. Overledger offers you smart tokens that can power multiple use cases, digital currency, CBDCs, currency trials and deployment, payments, cross-border payments, next generation payment systems, capital market, alternative asset digitization, carbon credits and certi certificates, commercial bank tokenized deposits, fund tokenization, supply chain, supply chain monitoring, it's going to be tied to everything. That's why it's so important to be buying at these low prices. Because in the future, you're going to be left with nothing but regret if you don't buy now. And this pretty much sums it up. Early success is a scam. Great things take time. You know, everybody always wonders the same thing when they first get into crypto. Why is my crypto not making me rich already? And they're holding it for literally a week. You know, I still see people come into crypto on crypto Twitter and say, I've been holding this crypto for two months now and I haven't made a dime. Well, most of these cryptocurrencies I've been holding for at least a year to a year and a half. That's my shortest hold. My longer holds are like XRP for almost five years now and XLM. But nothing gets built in a day. It takes time to build out. Q&T, we're still early on it. We're at the starting line, still waiting for things to happen. You know, that massive network I always talk about that's forming. I've been watching it grow from the bottom up all throughout last year. This crypto partnering with this crypto. Then later you see them partnering to banks and countries being tied into CBDCs. But we are getting there closer and closer every single day. At some point, all of a sudden, you're going to see this market take off. And so many people are going to be left behind. There's people out there that haven't got into crypto yet 
that are like, I thought crypto was dead because they're believing the mainstream media news narratives, especially after the fall of FTX. You know, then they all of a sudden crypto turns around, but they're too late to the game. Because by the time the mainstream media news starts to get bullish on crypto again, crypto's going to be skyrocketing. You know, you're going to be buying QNT, but it's going to be around a thousand dollars by the time mainstream media news gets bullish again. That's why it's important to come in, be patient, stay positive in what you hold, know what you hold, and hold on to it. But with that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.